Okay, by now you'll have um, had a look at the, the stills that I've put up after centering the mirror um, and using the diagrams. You'll see that I presented as a circle and I've got everything sort of um, all in line. Uh, you know, we're, we're right in the centre of the focus and everything and I've put in the, the little green circles to, to demonstrate that. At this point we still haven't collimated that secondary mirror. All we've done is centred it and we know now that it is on centre. At this point now you do not want to start making any larger adjustments to that centre screw because if you do you're going to move that mirror up and down your tube which you don't want to do, you've centred it. Uh, now we ju it's, it's just down to making some very fine adjustments just to collimate that mirror because we know that it's, it's precisely centred. It's basically just got to be to be collimated to um, to the the primary, which is what we're going to do next. And so what we're going to do is take a side tube in a moment and and work that way. Uh, so I'll come back in a couple of seconds. Right, we've just done it the technical way um, with the camcorder. Um, now I just want to show you this. Um, some people might have seen one before, some you know, some might not. Uh, this is a Cheshire collimator. Um, it's got a crosser there in the end. It's got a little reflection window and it's got a tiny little hole in the end. Now what we've just done, sort of the technical way, using a camcorder and a graphics package and everything, you can do it with this. Um, now when you first look at one of these, you can see that there's a ridge going round it and you might assume that you just put it in your eyepiece holder to that point and, and that's where you where you use it but to use it as a side tube and to be more efficient slide it in even further and what you find is that the, the red area that we saw before and the, the blue area which is your mirror you'll tighten up the two circles the, the further in that you move it uh, so get to a point where you're comfortable and you can, you know, you'll get to a stage where you just see the tiniest, tiniest little thin ring of the red, uh, the card. Uh, and you'll see your, your blue mirror there. And again, you can very precisely align um, that secondary mirror. Uh, don't forget, we haven't collimated yet. We've only aligned it. It's aligned under the focuser. So now we know that that, like I said, this, this mirror is, is aligned under the focuser as well as it can be, sort of in, in, in most of its planes. Um, and as I said, now at this point, do not touch that middle screw. The only reason that you should be touching that middle screw now is to just give it a slight little untighten so that it allows you to, to move your mirror um, when you come to the collimation process, uh, which is, again, it'll be very, very slight, very, very subtle movements. Um, but like I said, low tech way and yeah it, it works fine it, it just you know it's, it depends on whatever it is that you're happy with um, but like I said there's there's two ways of doing it and you know it's, it's it swings and roundabouts really um, but that's it that's that's lining up yeah secondary using a, a Cheshire instead of a instead of a camcorder uh, the thing is that once you've done this once you've lined it up you should practically never have to touch it again um, you know so like I said, it's it's up to you if, if you find it's a rainy day and you want to have a, a real proper good mess and try and get the best out of your scope that you can, then, you know, by all means, go for it. Right, uh, when we come back, we're going to start actually collimating this, this secondary mirror. Um, as we've shown before, don't use a laser for collimating your secondary. It doesn't work. It won't work. It never will work. The only way that you can, that you can collimate a secondary with a laser is by using a hologram. Uh, it's a method called the Glatter method, um, and it actually puts a grid on on that mirror um, by putting the laser through um, what they call a diffraction grating, and it, it puts a grid on your mirror that you can line up then with the grid. But a normal single point laser will not ever collimate or line up your secondary mirror. Uh, right, we're going to go on to the side tube next. I was just going to take out the uh, the bits and pieces and we'll come back.